The minister made the disclosure in the wake of concerns expressed by the public about conditions at some of the NHC's estates. The lands at Low Burnie, that's, that's not in the point, but we are, we are utilizing the lands at Low Burnie, 40 acres. Um, the conveyance is not finished as yet. We now have to vest the land in NHC. You see we have acquired the land through planning gains, and I'm hoping by the start of the financial year we should see some construction there. So while we are repairing the 240, 80 units in the pine, we expect to see some building going on at low burning to marry the two. The housing minister says a social survey will be done before the project comes to fruition. We speak to the parliamentary representative and our housing planning division within the Ministry of Housing Lands and Maintenance and National Housing to do our social surveys along with, with input from the parliamentary representative and other key, key stakeholders in that area so we can indeed shift out and reduce the, 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 the density where it is really needed. An update has also been given on the National Housing Corporation's effort to stamp out fires in its units. The project involves the upgrading of the electrical infrastructure. The National Housing Corporation will upgrade over 3,000 units at a cost of over $20 million. And I'm here to tell Barbadians that thus far, we have spent $14.56 million to upgrade 1,892 units. And I also want to tell Barbadians that we're giving them more load capacity within the electrical framework and we are going to modern their standards within all of these units. They're beautiful units, but they have antiquated and aged electrical framework. The minister says the initiative is providing jobs for Barbadians. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.